All right. Hi, I'm Jamie from Sci-Fi Vision. Thanks so much for talking to me today. I, I watched it all last night. I really enjoyed it. I, I ended up watching the whole thing, even though I didn't intend to. So I really liked it. Um, start with you, Christoph. This, this character is so fantastically creepy. Can you talk about the kind of connecting with that dark side of him? Um, I, I, yeah, it's it's actually it's not difficult um, for me because I don't evaluate the the darkness or lightness of a character. I just you know read the script and say and 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 find what I can do, um, it, you know because because um, a good script makes the character readable through behavior. And um, that's what what I'm there for. So I I would like to to pass the answer of that question actually to Tony, because he he was the one who who came up with it. Right, <laughs> go ahead, Tony. Um, look, I mean, yeah, the darkness. I think, yeah, I think it's just there. I think you know, like like Christoph said, I don't think you ever look to explore it. I never sit down and say, right, this has got to be dark or this has got to be funny. It's, it's where does the character naturally take you? You know, where is the story evolving? Where is the richness in that? So I, yeah, I think he's just, he's that type of a character that has to cause mayhem and mischief and everything he does. So it naturally leans him towards that kind of, there's a darkness. There's um, there's a, you don't quite know what his motivations are, which I think is important. So, you create the darkness. You always wonder if he's just there's something um, wrong about this guy. Only true. The darkness results from turning the light off. You see, um, so. <laughs> right. Um, so Tony, can you talk about what you sort of changed from a story perspective that you had to in order to bring it to television from the book? Um. Well, the, the book very much gave like the tone. You know, it's Bentley Little who wrote the book. Um, he and I, I think, we share a very dark sense of humor you know a slightly cruel sense of humor as well and so really it was kind of like tapping into that which you know i think we both share and obviously you know i say like if you adapted this book directly it would be a 90 minute horror film you know and we were making a returnable tv series so i had to go different ways with the characters and explore different things but you know, keeping the character in check, you know, I think in the book, he just, when Padoff goes crazy, he really mm -hmm. goes crazy. And we had to just hold that back a little bit. So giving a little bit each week. All right. And Matt, from a directing standpoint, what did you find difficult about bringing this to life? You know, it was really not difficult. It was really a joy. It was so much fun to work on. When you find material this good, you get to work with wonderful actors like Christoph. Um, and you're playing with so many different tones, you know, no scene is like any other scene in the show and everyone is off balance and trying to create those kinds of that tone, that feeling of off balance is really fun as a filmmaker and for actors as well. Um, so, you know, that's, that's what makes it exciting is that you're not, you know, repeating anything from moment to moment. You're kind of finding your way through this, through this looking glass. All right. And Christoph, other than the script and, you know, the book, where did you kind of pull inspiration from as you were doing this, as you're kind of creating your version of him from well, that? You know, I'm 66 years old. <laughs> if that pool isn't deep enough, then, you know, I kind of failed in life. Was there anything, what was it in particularly about this script or this character, though, that made you think that you just had to, you know, you had to take this role? Uh, really, what 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 uh, in in the story? How this character triggers change, and um, and um, that's uh, that's beautiful and and fun and desirable in my in my modest book. You know, to to trigger change, and um, if it's existential change, that is that much the better. Yeah, I was gonna say he he does, you know, it does work <laughs> what he does. Yeah. Maybe not always in the best way, but it does work in the end. All right. Well, thank you so much, all of you. I appreciate it. And like I said, I enjoyed it. So thank you. Thanks, thank Jamie. you.